Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb from AirVenture 2021. You might remember that three years ago we reported on this aircraft, the opener Blackfly. Might not be the most inspiring name for a new flying machine, but here at Oshkosh in 2021 they actually flew the thing for a couple of demos. I'm ready to try it myself. They're actually building it in volume, and if it doesn't somehow run afoul of the ultralight regulations, you'll be able to buy and fly one yourself. Let's have Marcus Lang explain how that's gonna work. This is our production version, and uh, we came out with this uh, three years ago, and what we've been doing in the last three years, um, when COVID hasn't been affecting our operations, is to focus on manufacturing. Um, Building prototypes and flying prototypes is, is relatively easy. Uh, developing the manufacturing infrastructure to do mass production is very, very difficult. And uh, we began wing manufacturing assembly line back in uh, Christmas of last year. And they've been coming off the line uh, one per day. So we've accumulated quite uh, an inventory of those, our fuselage assembly line. Uh, started up about uh, a little bit over a month and a half ago and it's producing fuselages at one per week and we hope to significantly accelerate that towards the end of August. Um, as an ultralight, um, there's no FAA uh, certification required, but we have a very strict uh, safety review board uh, that consists of uh, all the senior managers um, at Opener plus um, Ed Liu. Um, very famous astronaut, uh, spent six months in the space station, uh, also sits on the safety review board for uh, SpaceX and for NASA's manned flight operations. And we also have Alan Eustace, uh, former senior vice president at Google for knowledge. Um, also holds the world record for the highest parachute jump at up, I think 135,000 plus feet. And we require unanimous approval from the board to allow manned flight and uh, that approval uh, was gotten uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, we're going to be looking at a sales event uh, this fall and um, when we have the sales event we're going to have sufficient aircraft uh, to back up those sales so that a customer can uh, purchase the vehicle, come in for their training which is approximately two days and uh, we'll guide them through their first flights and um, then they can take their aircraft and uh, go fly. The price uh, has not been uh, finalized at this point, but uh, will be in the next uh, month to two months. The training takes about uh, two days. Um, the easy part is actually learning to fly the aircraft. Um, that just takes minutes. Um, but we have to go through all the safety training that's required, and we have to ensure that uh, potentially there will be non-pilots who will be uh, purchasing this aircraft. And as an ultralight, you don't need any formal uh, pilot licenses um, or license. And uh, we have to ensure that uh, those individuals are brought up to, to the same level of standard of understanding regulations as to what they can do, what they can't do. And uh, they also need to understand the aircraft, how it's built, how it's designed, and uh, all the different features of it so that they can uh, deal with all circumstances that may arise. We did, we did two flights with, uh, with two different aircraft. Um, the first flight was done by uh, Eleanor, and uh, Eleanor Lee is the, um, is the manufacturing manager for Opener, and uh, she did a what we call a demo flight. So what this allows uh, a customer to do is, uh, for their first flight, is to, after training, to sit in the aircraft and uh, basically sit back and uh, experience what it's like to do a takeoff, a cruise flight, uh, turn around, come back, and diagonal landing without actually requiring any input from the operator. Um, I did the second flight um, and I demonstrated um, uh, the VTOL capability of the aircraft, um, the pure VTOL, so the aircraft rotated uh, and ascended to uh, directly vertically, and then uh, we, I descended again, uh, demonstrated the uh, sideways uh, flying capability of the aircraft, its uh, rotating capability, forward flight, and then finally I did a uh, return to home. 
and uh, that allows me to sit back, relax, and watch the aircraft come back to the uh, takeoff location and takeoff orientation. Uh, the vehicle currently is designed to carry a 200 pound payload, VTOL takeoff, VTOL landing, 25 miles, and uh, to have a 20% reserve. Mm-hmm.